Dr. MJ Coco is one of my favorite YouTube channels. To me, he is the source for unbiased light reviews. Further than that, his knowledge comes from actually growing. So you could see his plants and he swears by Coco as the best medium. Now, Coco is a different machine. So if you're used to soil, understand that this is the type of medium that is more like hydro. It's a pretty thorough involved process. I use these paint screening mesh bags and I put the cocoa in there and basically rinsed it out outside with the hose. Then I had to dunk it in CalMag water at 6.2 pH and 1200 ppm for at least eight hours. Twice. Once the cocoa's pre-soaked, then you mix in four quarts of perlite to your four gallons of cocoa. Then I had to rinse some of the mix to bring down the PPM to a level more suitable for cuttings and mixed it in the top center of the pot. And then you make the juices. This almost reminds me of my Hydro was a huge mistake video. So these are all the nutrients right here, and it's a lot. Price-wise, just to get the pot started in cocoa cost only $6 per each five gallon pot. Where it gets a little complicated is the nutrient usage, and I'll estimate this cost at the end of the grow by keeping a grow journal that records all the amounts I use throughout the grow. If I had to guess based on feed schedule, I'd say it's probably $20 of nutrients, which is still a very cost-effective $26 per pot. The total cost of all the nutrients and supplies I purchased for this grow is $213. This will give you enough supplies for seven five gallon pots. A complete breakdown on the cost analysis is in the description and it's probably cheaper to get all this stuff at your local hydroponic store. But if you wanna save on gas, check the links in the description. This is the website, cocoforcannabis.com slash mixed newts. This is the feed schedule we'll be using. And you'll see this is to be used with the general hydroponics flora series. That's flora micro, flora grow, and flora bloom. Plus all of these other nutrients. And it's overwhelming, but let me break down every single nutrient as well as the MTK ratios. Armor C is basically silica. Silica is something that helps your plant stems and it also helps your plant resist adverse weather conditions such as extreme heat and extreme cold. The MPK on this is 004. CalMag is just calcium and magnesium. Those are micronutrients. It's 5% calcium, 1.5% magnesium. Definitely needed for your plants. Flora Micro is by General Hydroponics. It's basically all nitrogen and all of the trace nutrients. This has an MPK of 501. Flora Grow is a 216 on the MPK. So it's majority potassium. Flora Bloom is 054. This is mainly used during the bloom phase, as you can see. Cool Bloom is basically all potassium and phosphorus. That's a 0 10, 10 and you see it's only used in bloom. Diamond Nectar is humic acid, and that basically helps the plant uptake nutrients better, kind of like mycorrhizae. SM90, that's a wetting agent, but according to MJ, this has been replaced with raw yucca. Rapid Start is a rooting hormone. It's basically vitamin B and molybdenum. It's gonna help the roots grow. So you'll see it's used early on in veg and early bloom. 
and H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide, and that basically keeps everything sterile. So the MPK ratio that I like for veg is 5 to 3, which is gonna be mainly flora micro. I mean, honestly, flora grow is kind of useless to me because all it is is a lot more potassium. And you see Armor C over here, which has an MPK ratio of 004. This definitely provides enough potassium that you need for this grow. Now, during bloom, you'll see the K levels still stay high, but I like to bump up the phosphorus and you really can't do that with these nutrients that you have. Nothing has a high middle number. The closest thing you get is a 054 on the floor of bloom. And because these other two nutrients over here have a lot of K, you're gonna end up with more potassium than phosphorus, which I don't really like to do, but that's just me. Overall, the main thing I wanna see is how it compares to TPS nutrients. Check this out. This is how I'm analyzing the MPKs on cocoa for cannabis. I have all the MPKs mapped out over here on all these nutrients. So the MPK on Armor C is 004, CalMag is 100, Flora Micro is 501. And this is the input field. This I can leave blank. I'm basically, you see how that all changed to zero? These are all formulas that basically calculate the amount in milliliters which is in each one of these fields per gallon. So 4.5 milliliters per gallon of CalMag. It's gonna calculate the MPK totals of all of this. So if I put this in here, now it's gonna spit out the total N for all of these nutrients, total P for all of these nutrients, and total K for all of these nutrients. And here, I should be able to put in a function of some of this range. Boom. Okay. I don't know why it's not working. So I'll just have to manually calculate it. All right, it shouldn't be too hard. Total N, 4, 10, 10.75, 11.95 is the N on that 11.95, right? Hyphen. P is 3, 5.5, 6.1. Hyphen. K, which is 2 .5, 4.9, 4.5, 6.7, 8.5, 9.5, 9.75. Okay, so good amount of N, low in the P, high in the K, like I said, All right? Now, again, I'm gonna copy this, put it on the input, and it'll spit out the totals, two, four, 8.5, 10.5, plus 11 point, that's 21.75, hyphen total p is going to be six seven eight nine ten eleven point two five all right i need some space up in here let me just uh column width make that 15. Okay, so we're back to the K. K is going to be total over here. Five, six, seven. <sighs> Jesus. This is what I'm talking about. This K is crazy. 13.5 plus five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 22.5, 24.5, 24.9. 25, 26.9, 27.15. Well, I mean, these are all ratios. You want the MPK to be kind of even in uh, the veg phase. Probably more N though, but this is 
majority K. This is what I'm talking about. So this is the numbers proven out. I mean, I just did it looking at that chart. I did it in my head. So what you saw was a live reaction. But this is mathematically proven out. Now, 15 to 20 days, we put the NPK, which is 11.25, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 is the N. Total P is 7.5, 8.5, plus 5, 13.5. And then the total K is 5 plus 15 is 20 plus 4, 26, 30, 32.25. See what's going on here? That K is ridiculous. It's just too high. It, there's no reason why K has to be that much higher. Input. K right here. We see total N, 5, 6, 9.75, that's basically 10. So 22.5 minus 2.5, 22.25. And then P is going to be, that's 11 plus 12, 13.5, 14. See what I'm doing here. Five, six, ten, nine, ten, twenty nine point eight plus two point thirty two point three. All right, I mean, I don't have to go through this whole thing to see. K is just obscenely high all throughout this, and that's the thing is I don't think he factored in this armor C. Likewise, Flora Grow. Grow just has a lot of potassium. Honestly, this nutrient is just kind of useless to me. Um, with this, the reason why I swapped out armor C is because it's just too much K. And yeah, I'm tweaking his recipe a little bit, but it's, in my opinion, 100% gonna burn, leaving it as is with the K. And K really does conflict with calcium. You can see scientific journals on that. But I just wanted to do this to prove things mathematically. If you want to check out the day-to-day -day grow on this journal, check out our Discord. And also, for the other five slots, check out our other videos.